folks, this is X of JSA with GOD Gaming, and today we're turning this into this. Now, this is the second tutorial, and there's a few things different, and uh, I pointed out uh, a few different things, guys, and I hope this helps you out, so enjoy. Now, on the previous tutorial, uh, when we did it, uh, it would get erased with each update. Now, it, this became very, very popular, and the devs did a really, really nice thing for us. Uh, they've given us a place that we can put our color scheme uh, and it's going to stay uh, they, that was a very nice thing of them and I really got to say we really appreciate it as a community because I don't know about you guys but you know changing the color really makes it nice uh, and for those of you guys who did view my first video thank you guys so much man it was a huge success thank you very much I appreciate it uh, and for those guys who are no doing this for the first time it's going to work out just the same it don't matter only this time it's going to stick uh, now it's going to be in one or two places uh, for me I found it in my app data uh, uh, others will find it in their C drive now I'm going to point out a few things differently th in this video uh, to help you guys out uh, one thing is in your view uh, how are you looking at where you're looking uh, if you don't have the hidden items checked here uh, somewhere here you're going to find hidden items make sure that's checked because if not you're not going to be able to see uh, some of the files where you need to go to edit this uh, and it's going to drive you nuts because you won't be able to find it but should you find it in your C drive, uh, you know, of course, all these links and everything for the editor and where to find these things will be posted in the description. Uh, you would go into the program files, uh, <clears throat> go down here to Frontier, ED Launcher, and then uh, products would be somewhere in here, and then you would go along the course. Uh, me, of course, you know, I didn't find it there. I found it in my app data. Uh, so let's go right into that close this one up here app data local frontier developments products into your force file or whatever it may be called there is a few other files it may be called uh, this might be different here uh, but you're gonna go into graphics configuration oops I mean to double click that now you want to open it up with something you can edit it me I use notepad uh, Oops, over under the window. Now you're going to scroll down to here. Now, these right here, the very first one you come to is what we're going to work. These three lines right here, okay? Uh, but first of all, uh, you need to find out your color. Pick your color scheme out. Uh, now, with this link, I did not create this. Uh, all credits right here. You see this fellow right here? He did a really great thing, uh, and it really helps you out to see what you're going to get. Uh, when you log in it's a very good indication and some things do look a little different when you get in there uh, so don't be afraid to mess around but one thing I do want to point out about this thing right here is the range down here now this will let you go into the negative range and to the positive range uh, which really helps you customize it a little better if you can see the contrast right there you can see your uh, your friendlies are going to be lit up a little bit different than your enemies uh, I'm trying to get the red in the enemies a little bit and I'm still working on it but here is your uh, color scheme right here this is what you're going to want to copy so you would copy this go right back in here to the graphics configuration file take these and paste that right in there and yeah, I gotta fix that, guys. That would drive me nuts. Even though it doesn't really mean a whole heap of beans. Go and save your file. Boom, and your color change would be done. But unfortunately, um, you know, it, it would change uh, after every update. But in here, go back to local. You know, back all the way up to local. And then this other frontier file right here. Click on that. Go into Elite Dangerous. Look into your options folder here and go right into graphics. This is the file you're going to want to uh, edit. Uh, and again, all these links will be posted at the bottoms, you know, for your convenience to help you out. Uh, it's going to be in your C drive or in your app data, one of the two, but you're going to do it the same way. You open it up with your notepad, you pop it in here, and uh, that was my previous scheme. I mean, I diddled around with mine again, you know, and uh, I found one. I think it's going to be a little bit better for me. So let's pop it in there. And again, I got to scoot this out, guys. Sorry, I'm a little, little organizing uh, freak like that. I, I got to have it nice and aligned. I don't know. 
But anyways, you close that. Uh, make sure you save your file. Uh, and I would uh, suggest, you know, uh, make it a copy of it. Uh, that way, you know, you have it on hand. Close that out. Now, we're going to uh, stop for just a second. We'll go ahead and uh, load up Elite and uh, see what we got. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and load on in here. And there we go right there. Uh, nice little colors. Uh, again, guys, doodle around. Find out what uh, what works for you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to turn down that white just a bit. That's Yeah, it's a bit bright. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, I really hope this helped you out. And again, uh, I appreciate all the views. Uh, help me out, guys, uh, with a little like, maybe a subscribe, and uh, most importantly, uh, share this. Get it out there to your fellow pilots, and uh, guys, I really hope that I see you out there in the universe somewhere. Thanks.